Today's topic is loss of illumination and today's information about the great scientist Lambert. His full name is Johann Heinrich Lambert, mathematician, physicist, astronomer and philosopher. Born on 26th August 1728 in Switzerland. Leaving school, he continued to study in his free time. He assisted his father, a tailor, clerk, private tutor and editor. During his Europe trip, he met many famous mathematicians in German states, Netherlands, France and Italian states. On his return to Kerr, Kerr is a very famous and oldest city in Switzerland. He released his first book on optics and the cosmology and began to seek an academic post. He rewarded in the year 1763 by an invitation to position at Persian Academy of Science in Berlin. He became a friend of Euler, a very famous mathematician. Lambert was the first to introduce hyperbolic function into trigonometry. Lambert invented the first practical hygrometer. Hygrometer is an instrument which is used to measure the moisture content in the atmosphere. Lambert died on 25th September 1777. 49 years he lived in this planet. Even today he lives in the form of unit Lambert. Inverse square law is defined as the illumination of a surface is inversely proportional to the square of the distance of the surface from the source of light. It is true only if the surface is a point source. This is the source. Consider a surface A1 and A2 at a distance R1. This point to this point is R1. And R2, this point to this point is R2. From the point of source S of luminous intensity I, normal to the rays. Therefore, total luminous flux radiated is equal to I into omega lumens because I is equal to luminous intensity I is equal to pi by omega. I can write pi is equal to I into omega. I simply substitute I into omega divided by A1. This is area A1. And A1 is equal to omega into R1 square. I will substitute omega into R1 square. Therefore, E1 is equal to I divided by R1 square lumens per unit area. Similarly, E2 is equal to I divided by R2 square. Hence, the illumination E is inversely proportional to the square of distance. That is inverse square law. Lambert cosine law. According to this law, the illumination at any point on the surface is proportional to the cosine of the angle between the normal at that point and the direction of flux. Let me see the proof. Let me ask you, this is PQR, it is a simple triangle. Here P is a source. Its luminous intensity is equal to I. This is the surface. I want to find the illumination at the point Q as well as the point R. Here the angle distance is the angle theta. Therefore, here this angle is also theta. The distance between P and Q is equal to small d. Distance between P and R is equal to small r. Here illumination E is directly proportional to cos theta. And we know that E illumination is equal to illuminous intensity divided by d square. It is a general formula. E is equal to I by d square into cos theta. I can write like this EQ that is EQ. EQ means this point. 
Qq is equal to i by d square into cos theta. Here theta value is 0. Therefore, cos 0 is equal to 1. Here Eq is equal to i by d square. This is inverse square law. Because theta is equal to 0. Now I want to find what is the illumination at the point R. Here the distance is D. Here the distance is R. The distance between P and the R. P and R is equal to small r. What is cos theta? Cos theta is equal to D by R. Cos theta is equal to D by R. Cos cube theta is equal to D cube by R cube. Therefore, illumination at the point ER, ER is equal to I by R square into cos theta, cos theta, instead of cos theta, I write D by R. I multiply I into D, illuminous intensity into D divided by R cube. R is nothing but distance between P and R. So, simply, I simplify the equation, I multiply and divide by D square. I will get I into D cube divided by R cube into D square. I rearrange this I by D square into D cube by R cube. D cube by R cube is equal to cos cube theta. I can write I by D square into cos cube theta. So I by D square is equal to EQ. This is EQ. This is Q. So, illumination at the uh, point R can be written as illumination at EQ into cos cube theta. This is also known as cos cube law.